Number 70, what mass of a 4.00% NaOH solution by mass contains 15.0 grams of NaOH? Okay. All right. So let's analyze what we have here. We need to find the mass. So that's grams, right? So we need to find the amount of grams of a solution, right? If I just skip over this information, it boils down to asking for what's the mass of some type of solution. In this case, it's sodium hydroxide. But basically, we need to find the mass of the solution, right? So I'm going to label that as x, OK? So they're looking for a mass of solution. And they gave me a percentage, right? Now, since they're talking about mass with percentage, this is a percent mass. But it's a percent nonetheless, right? So they tell us that we have a 4.00%, cool. And now this solution contains 15 grams of NaOH. Now, this is assuming that this is the solute. Usually when we're dealing with solutions, just know that a total solution is a solute plus a solvent. The solute is the solid that you drop into the liquid to get the solution. Okay? So in this case, this is the small solid, the solute, that was added to some liquid, probably water, to get a total solution. So I have the mass of my solute. we know that this is 15.0 grams. Oh, but a, a solution, just like we said, we can think of this as a total, and the solute is just part of the entire solution. Oh, and they gave me a percentage, right? Any percentage in general is just basically part divided by whole times 100. Part divided by whole times 100. This now specifically for this specific formula, it's this one over here. Do you see how it's basically the same though? It's a percentage. In this case, it's a percent mass because they keep talking about grams. And it's the solute mass, that's the part, divided by the whole thing, that's the whole or the total, times 100. So let's just plug it in. The percent they told us was 4%, 4 right? 4.00. And that equals the part, which is the solute, so that's 15, divided by what we're solving for times 100. OK, now let's just get this out of percentage. Remember, we always get it out of percent by just dividing by 100, right? on both sides. That's why that 100's there. So 4 divided by 100, I can just similarly just move the decimal place two times over to the left. So this would be 0. Point, actually, I'll put it over here. 0. 0.04 equals 15 over x. This is a cross multiplication, right? So you know, maybe I'll just bring this up here. OK. So then we got 0.04 x equals 15. And then finally, we solve for x by dividing by 0.04 on both sides. This will cancel. And now 15 divided by 0 0.04. For sig fig purposes, since all we did was multiply and divide, the, the total should have the least number of sig figs that are in one of the answers. But since both of these have three, my answer should have three sig figs. So this would be 3, uh, 375, and that's grams. And now we can say, OK, that was, you know, the mass of the solution. So this would be the answer. So in a 4% uh, 
uh, NaOH solution that only contained 15 grams, the total solution mass is 375 grams. That kind of makes sense. The percent is low. So that means that for as much solution you have, you're only going to have a little bit of solute. That's it. All right. So guys, what do you think? Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you'd like to, and that would help. That would help us out. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But if not, maybe, maybe I'll get you in the next lesson. All right. <laughs> but anyway, you guys are awesome. Keep studying hard, and I'll I'll be talking to you soon. All right. Bye bye.